Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using SILD authentication. Inside this video, we will see controller and model setup. If I back to slide, so as we have discussed inside our previous videos that by the help of the second phase of API development, we will create APIs using SILD authentication. So here, the methods we need for user registration, user login, get logged in user data it means profile api logout api and also we have the second module included here called add project list projects and delete project so to start all about the development process of all these methods we need to set up our controller and model if i back to editor so this is our application if i go inside app folder controllers folder so right now here we have only the default controllers what this application generates now back to terminal so here as you can see that we have two modules one is all about our authentication and second all about our project module so we need two controllers back to terminal so php spark make controller and one more thing actually we are working with the api process so we need to pass restful flag so php spark make controller and we want to store all those two controllers into a separate folder called api so php spark make controller api this will be the folder name forward slash then we need to pass our class name so let's say auth I will pass suffix as a flag and also this authcontroller.php will be a restful file. So I will pass one more flag called restful. Before pressing enter, if I go and copy this command back to our slide and let's open a new tab. So here, this is the command what we are trying to execute called php spark make controller auth controller will be created inside api and this controller file will be a restful file back to terminal hit enter and as you can see that auth controller.php now created if i back to editor go inside controllers now we should see a folder called api and here we have auth controller.php so by default it has provided a complete skeleton of a resource controller but these methods we don't need let's remove all these methods because we'll create our own methods for all the processes so under controller we need to create call for a second module that is project controller and that controller will be also created inside this api folder back to terminal so php spark make controller inside api folder the controller name will be called project i will pass suffix it means project controller and also it will be a restful controller press enter now project controller.php also created inside api folder back to editor and here is the file also this file contains a lots of code so I will remove that as well. Now inside these two controller files, we need to set up our own methods. If I go here, so we need user, user register API method, user login API method, profile API method, and logout API method. So these are the methods we will create inside auth controller. Back to editor, go inside auth controller because this controller is going to handle all about our user authenticated APIs. So first thing first, I will create register method. So public function register. This method will hit using post request type. By the help of this method, we will create user data into our table. So here, use to create and save users now the second method of this auth controller will be login 
so public function and login this method is also will be hit using post request type because by the help of these methods we will post our data to server and use of this method use login specific user to application and also it generates a token value so this is our second method now the next method we need that is for git logged in user data and it will be a profile api so go here let's say public function and i will call it as profile this method will hit using get request type and while hitting this method also we need to pass our token value so use to get profile data of logged in user and while calling this method we need to pass a token value remember this token value will generate by this login method now the next method we need for this auth controller and that will be last method as logout so public function and logout while calling this method we'll hit using get request type and use of this method logout user and by the help of this method will destroy our token so token or simple let's say destroy token so finally inside this auth controller we need to work for all these four methods to register login profile and logout now for the second module that is project controller we need three methods that is for add project list user wise projects and also delete user wise project back to editor so go inside project controller the first method will create for add project api method so here let's say public function and it will be add project this method will hit using post request type because by the help of this method actually we'll post our project data to server so here use create project user wise while calling this method we need to pass token value because by the help of this token we will decide that which user is actually creating this project now the next method we need that is public function list projects and this method will hit using get request type go here let's say use list user wise project also while calling this method we need to pass our user token value and these tokens will pass when we get from this login method now go here and the final method we need for this project controller and that will be delete project so public function function delete project and here this method will be hit using delete request type and here use to delete user specific project also while calling this method we need to pass user token value so while calling this method as we can see we are saying delete request type but as we know from first phase of api development that is by using method spoofing concept we can dynamically convert a post request to a delete request so these are the methods and they're working what we'll see inside this second phase of api development 
So for this auth controller, we'll load and work with user model. So if I go and press enter and type use, user model, now we can see that user model is coming from code igniter, silt and models. So where is this location? Just go inside app, vendor, inside vendor, go inside code igniter 4, let's zoom in. Inside code igniter 4, as we can see inside this folder, here we have a folder called sailed. If I go inside the sealed, go inside SRC and here we have multiple folders as we can see here. So go inside models. So inside models, we will see user model.php. So this is the folder called sealed is actually coming from that because we had installed sealed authentication package inside last video. So by the help of user model, actually we are going to handle all about the user data. But for this project module, like the project data, we need to create a separate model for this controller file. Back to terminal. So let's create a model that is PHP Spark make model and it should be called project. Let's pass a suffix here. It means it will create project model.php. Press enter. Model file created. If I go inside editor, go inside app, models, and here we have project model.php. So here, as we can see, we have a project table. Table is okay, but inside this allowed fields, which is an array, and inside this array, we need to pass all the column names where we want values to create a project. So before adding columns here, if I go inside our database, let's open migration file. So this is the migration file for creating a project. So here we need the values for user ID, name and budget. So we need to pass these column names right here inside this array. So here, let's say user ID. Next we have I think name. name and budget so once we pass all these values means columns inside this array it means whenever we create any project by the help of model by the help of this method then we can successfully insert into that so successfully now we have the controls over our auth controller file auth controller file and their methods Project controller file and their methods. Also, we understood that from where user model is coming, and inside project model, we need to load, let's say, use project model. And this is the model file what we had created. So, from the next video, hopefully, we'll work on the API route setup and also on the API methods. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.